Hello, hello, it's Kitty Andrews, proud to be your declutter specialist and thought organizer. Ah, coming to you from picturesque Atlanta, Canada, where we're, where it's going to be pretty picturesque tonight when we get our first uh, snowstorm of the year. Should be about 15 to 30 centimeters, and that doesn't, uh, when you're from out west like I am, uh, that doesn't, it's, it's kind of middling. Um, but here it's a big deal, so I'm sure everyone is running to the stores making sure that they are stocked up for Snowgeddon. All right, ah, hello, hello, welcome. We are on day 431 of my Facebook Lives, and I thank you for tuning in, whether you are, whether you're live or Memorex on LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram or uh, YouTube and I'll tell you more about the YouTube in a little bit. I am so proud of that YouTube channel, Declutter the Brain. Uh, all right, um, who am I? Well, my name is Kitty and uh, we are with Declutter the Brain. That's the royal we, uh, my team and I. And I help people to declutter their space so that they can organize their thoughts so they can get more shiitake done. There it is, plain and simple. Doesn't get more simple than that, does it, Michael? <laughs> hey, I'm rework reworking the message to just make it simpler and simpler and simpler as my life starts to get more complicated, as all of our lives start to get more complicated, especially with Yuletide coming and, you know, just generally life in general. Ah, oh, yes, very good to see you, Michael. Glad, so glad you popped in. I really, really am. Um, we do, uh, do, doing that, um, we do maximize our productivity and minimize the overwhelm. Pam, this is the newest one. I do help people to declutter their space so they can organize their thoughts to get more shiitake done. Ha! Ah, I do, um, now while we're talking about that, I do believe that physical clutter and lack of focus and concentration are very closely intertwined and um, hence my step-by-step -step system to, um, um, uh, to uh, clear years of clutter without getting thoroughly overwhelmed by the process. And when I talk about, uh, when I talk about um, declutter, organizing the thoughts, we had our workshop in our Declutter the Brain Facebook group, more on that in a moment, and every single person on there said that organizing their th um, physical, mental clutter was more uh, problem, problematic than physical clutter. So there you go. Um, and right, speaking of Declutter the Brain Facebook group, uh, we are, we just hit our 150th member today. I don't know who these newest people are, the, the, the latest three. I have no idea. I would not know them if I walked into your, into your version of Whole Foods, but, um, but yeah, and welcome, welcome, welcome. We, who, what do we do? We are a small band of people, uh, who have a common goal. We want to clear the, the the clutter and the mental baggage that can hold us back. Oh boy, am I knowing about mental baggage. <laughs> uh, from being the super achievers and money makers that we were meant to be. So we, between our weekend warrior, um, um, weekend warrior uh, projects, our monthly work workshops, we are starting to get moving. Why don't you come in and check us out? and uh, see what you think. You can always leave, but I can't imagine why you'd want to. Ah, uh, what else do you need to know? Um, nothing right now. You will need to know more in a few minutes. <laughs> hey, we can always, we're, we, we like to learn, right? This week is all about um, the fact that Christmas can be at the best of times and for the calmest of people. Uh, can be, but it was certainly busy and stressful. Uh, but um, for some people who may suffer from loneliness, depression, or even seasonal affective disorder, it can be very, very difficult. And I am one of those people. So I've just I thought this week would be a good time to just share a few 
um, a few little tricks that have helped me, that have helped my clients, and um, and the idea is not to go uh, merrily through through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. The idea is just to go. Okay, I am not going to go into a full uh, full blown depression. All right, this is what I'm going to do about it. All right, because what is the most important thing here is that you save your mental energy. Now you may have special circumstances in your life right now and we're going to take that into account. All right, we've got here at Declutter the Brain, we got your back. Make no mistake about that. You can always direct message me, by the way, um, at, um, well, uh, on Facebook, DM, uh, just DM me or I'll give you other ways to contact me in a few minutes. Now, uh, the first thing you want to do is make sure that you make a conscious decision, like I just said, all right, no, I am going to make it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through this with a smile, or at least not a Grinch sneer, all right? You know, um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do my best. Uh, now, whether that is because I want to do it for myself, or family members, uh, anything like that. I mean, you, you really, who do you serve when you're like, mm, you know, through the whole thing? Uh, there, you serve no one and you put your physical health at risk. And I'm knowing about physical health at, at risk. So th this is part of the reason is life is too short for that. All right, I care about you. Don't put your physical health at risk. Make a conscious decision to uh, at least at least get through it with some sort of a smile. Try to enjoy it. Make a conscious decision to stay okay. And then identify those triggers that will, you know darn well what they are um, that will, you know is going to set you off. Like like I said yesterday, Aunt Martha, nee, 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 nee. or um, the, the, um, the, the singer um, in the, <laughs> you're standing below the speaker in the Dollar General and trying to make a decision and somebody's wailing out jingle bells right on top of you. Uh, right, you know that's going to trigger you. Uh, so write these things down and put them on a calendar, like say for example, you know you've got a holiday get together on the 24th, all right, so you've got your nice little piece of paper, 24th, all right, uh, this is going to be a trigger. 26 Boxing Day brunch is going to be a trigger. This, that, the other thing. Just write them down. Knowledge is, it, this is huge. Writing things down is huge. Any one of my clients will tell you that. Tuesday, I suggested something a little unorthodox. Uh, declutter something. Even just something small. Doesn't need to be big. Can just be your nightstand. Uh, or a small part of your kitchen counter, anything that gives you that feeling of momentum, a feeling of control, a feeling of, hey, I did something good for myself. Anything like that is, is uh, just, oh, I did it myself a couple of weeks ago and oh, I still walk into my hotel like bathrooms and um, okay, yeah, they, they need a bit of maintenance, but basically, yeah. It was time well spent, all right? And again, it does not need to be a huge area. <coughs> all right, excuse me. Today, being Wednesday, we're going to talk about avoid, speaking of Aunt Martha, avoid family contacts and conflicts as much as possible. In other words, if you know there's a sticking point uh, between you and the wife on something, all right, address it before it starts. Um, Michael, maybe in your case, uh, it, well, you always, it, mm, it's hard to tell with you, but uh, if you know that there's always going to be a sticking point about something, well, either do the chore, make sure the chore is done, um, if it's going to be a family conflict, well, maybe you can uh, conveniently uh, show up late 
to the dinner or show up early and just make sure everything is good. Just it, it's, it's sometimes easier to go the path of least resistance. I hate to say that, but that's, that's the way it is. Make sure that you also plan out your self-care. I know, I've said it before, I'm gonna say it again. Plan out your self-care, don't forget your medications. If you are ADHD, please don't be trying to go to Walgreens or your favorite pharmacist on December 24th at three in the afternoon. All right, don't, don't do that to yourself. We're only December 8th right now. Uh, stock up on your meds, on your ibuprofen, on your everything that you, on your vitamin Bs, all right? Your vitamin Bs, your, uh, what else is it, guys? Uh, vitamin Ds. Um, anything that you need go go ahead and get stocked up on them this week and then you know that you've got them because really uh, you should be in fact this morning I, I doubled my B's and my D's because because of a personal challenge and I'm going to continue to do that um, uh, preventive maintenance no, I just want to amp up my game and make sure that I am strong and that I am ready for whatever is going to hit me. Um, but you may want to start to think about volunteering somewhere. If you, can, if you can find a soup kitchen that maybe you can put in a couple hours before the family get together, then you go in, you feel like you've done something good. Um, you may want to travel. I was about to do that. I'm not sure if I will be able to do that. Most importantly, yes, now I've got your attention, uh, stick to your routine. Make sure that once you're there, that you plan to stick to your routine. None of this getting up at all hours, going to bed at all hours. Okay? All right. Do we have a deal? <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. So that is pretty much... it for today. <laughs> um, new cough syrup, just getting used to it. Um, if you like this video, if you think that it's, um, that it speaks to you, that it could help someone, just go ahead and hit that share button. Um, <coughs> excuse me, you don't know whose life you, you, you might, um, you might touch. Uh, maybe there, uh, there are a lot of people out there who are kind of feeling lost, especially with the short days. I know that the short days, uh, they do affect me. And I, I plan myself accordingly. I plan my work and my, my day accordingly around them because I know that I just feel claustrophobic. So um, make sure that you share this video. YouTube, I was mentioning that before. Oh. If you dislike scrolling as much as I do scrolling, scrolling, it just hurts my eyes, plain and simple. Uh, and it's a lot of the work that I do is, is scrolling. Go to our Declutter the Brain on, on YouTube and we've just gotten our, um, our newest subscriber, an old friend of mine, Wanda Shields. And she, God bless her, Wanda. Uh, and... Um, and just subscribe because you can instantly find their dated button, their, their dated, their label. You can instantly find anything that you're looking for. You have a question on uh, de um, decluttering your closet, it's there. De uh, decluttering small spaces, it's there. And you can find it right away at Alice's Restaurant. Okay, now remember I told you about my step-by-step -step system to clear years of clutter without uh, the overwhelm? And yeah, um, especially before Christmas, this might be something to think about. My clients come to me with no energy, they're overwhelmed, they don't know where to start. Ah, giddy, I don't know what to do. Let's jump on a call, a Conquer Your Clutter call, and I, you, um, you will walk away with a plan that you can implement right away that you will see immediate results. I guarantee this for, for you and you can, you can take immediate action on it and then we can decide if we want to go further but you will walk away with a plan to see immediate results. So remember when you have decided to eliminate your clutter and change your overwhelm to energy just um, uh, go to uh, the link down below, 
click that, grab your seven easy steps to conquer clutter, and we will see your smiling face tomorrow when we talk about something for me. Bye for now.